Hey guys, Dave from Wolfhard Hobbying here, and today we're going to take a look at how I paint my Scorza Skirmishers from the Wrath of Kings House Goritzi Starter Box. In this video, we're just going to take a look at painting the overall body of the Skirmisher. Um, and the color choice I went with, I want to go with dark colors just because their lore states they come from a land of nightmares and darkness, so I want that to reflect in the model's color palette. So to start off, I gave this guy a base prime of light gray, but you could use a black, um, maybe even a white, just to get a little bit more of a brighter contrast with the white. But then I came in with a one-to-one -one mixture of Minotaur's Snow White and Raven Black to give me this dark, dark gray here. This dark gray is going to act as my shading as I don't like to use washes too often uh, with such large surface areas as in his chest and everything as that's going to uh, colorize and discolor uh, the next base coat I'm going to put on and it's going to make him look dirty and I wanted my colors to be crisp and clean. So to get started my next color that I'm going to put on the model is Vallejo model color gray green. I really like this gray. It's a dark medium gray I guess you can say um, and to thin it down a little bit I do bring in some Lemain medium here. This is just going to thin it down a bit to allow that darker gray to come through. So I'm going to pull the camera in closer here just so you can get a better view of what I'm doing. So again we're only going to focus on the overall body um, and this is going to be essentially a second base coating uh, of this color. So i am got my, what I like to call my detail basing brush. It allows me to do uh, wider brush strokes as well as thinner brush strokes if need be to get, uh, so I don't go over where I want to paint. So just going to uh, start on the chest here um, and uh, pick out most of, most of the chest, uh, his abs where his rib cage is and, uh, and go from there. So as you can see, just starting out lightly here. Not too worried about the, the 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 darker part on the big chest muscle there, as the light wouldn't really make that a too dark of a shadow. So I'm just following the muscle groups. I'm just going to be base coating this color on, making sure I don't go too far into my recesses, uh, so that my shading isn't uh, messed up. So skipping ahead here, I've got most of the torso done now uh, in that gray green. As you can see, there is uh, a lot of separation between the muscles and everything, and that's what I wanted it to show on the tabletop. It doesn't look that clean here, but again, I do t paint for more of my version of a tabletop standard, so I wanted those muscles to really stick out. So with the gray green uh, on my palette as well, I'm going to just dry brush the fur. Uh, I want the fur to be a lot darker than the, uh, the body itself so that there's some distinction between the two. And the blue light you see, I do paint with a headlight. I did forget to take it off so that's the blue light you are seeing there. It's not, uh, it's not any of my other lighting. And I'm just going to dry brush the tail as well just to pick out those highlight details um, in the fur just to give the tail a little bit more pop to it. And the other side here. Not too worried about getting any paint anywhere else as it's all the same color. So as you can see here, we got our first, uh, the base color down. Uh, so my next step is, is we're gonna start uh, doing large, almost edge highlights on the muscles and everything, just to get them to pop out a little bit more and give a little bit more separation between the, the shadow areas and the rest of the muscle. And uh, to do that, we're going to come in with a, a mixture of one to one of a Minestratum gray and the gray green. Uh, this isn't going to be an extreme highlight. Uh, in sometimes it may you may not even notice the highlight all that much, 
but when it does dry, it does give it uh, a little bit more definition. So I'm just gonna be following the edges of the muscle group. So just the bottom part of the chest muscle there. And I'm gonna do, as you can see here, broader strokes because my final highlight, I'm gonna come in a little bit thinner. But I just wanted a little bit more separation from the, the edges of the muscle and the rest of the skin just so that when you're playing him on the tabletop, you can notice the difference uh, in, in, in the muscles and everything because the muscle detail is great in these models. So I really want that to show on the table. So here I'm going to go where I believe it's his rib cage is sticking over his abs. So just catching that area there as well. Again, just to make a lot more separation. You can do this however you want it's it's all personal standards uh, this is just how I do it and there's always more than one way to uh, to skin a cat as they say so again just following the muscle group there and just came up here and again uh, you can do the, the the he's kinda got a snarl so he's got wrinkles on his nose so it's just hitting getting that and as you can see again it's a very subtle highlight it the camera doesn't really pick it up that well but in person and on the tabletop you can you can see the difference in the highlights so there's those big muscle groups in his back on his arms there as you can see so you really want to pick out those details really well because it is such a great sculpt that you don't want to cheapen it uh, by just having flat colors everywhere so you can use washes, I just tend not to as I don't want to discolor that gray there. So now I'm coming in with a two to one mixture of administratum gray to one gray green. This is going to be my final highlight. Uh, you could go uh, higher, um, it's all your personal preference. You could do a three to one, build it up a little bit more, uh, and then or just go straight administratum gray. I chose not to do that because I felt that this is the last highlight I needed to do and uh, what I like to do sometimes too is as you can see my lights kind of giving me an idea of where to put my highlights so I kind of do that sometimes I just kind of hold my model underneath the light or or have my lamp pointing in the direction that I want the light source to be coming from and then I pick out my highlights that way it's kind of a very fast way of knowing where to highlight especially on these big big muscle groups here where you can you never know where it can the light would hit so there i'm leaving all of his hand the the gray green i didn't do any other highlighting uh on the lo lower part of the hand i'm just doing the upper parts here as that's essentially where the light would hit now his the separation in his hand i did realize this after painting his hand up that his hand's actually supposed to be armored as well a gauntlet uh, and so that's why I left uh, his other hand uh, not painted as well. So again, I'm using my light source to kind of show me where my highlight would be on that leg muscle. And I just carry it over just a tiny bit, but I don't want to cover too much as it will wreck the shading. Uh, now for here, I didn't do any uh, highlighting on the side or below the muscle. And I kind of go out of frame here for a second, but again, I kind of just tilt my model towards my light source just to give me an idea of where I should pick out the next couple of highlights. And same idea with the toes here. I'm only doing the tops of the toes uh, as I feel that light wouldn't get much farther into his toes. Um, again, it's kind of hard when he's supposed to be having fur. How would you really go about highlighting the fur? Uh, when everything's so smooth so it was kind of it's kind of a judgment call on how you want to do things and how you want to highlight your model but this is how I chose to do it um, so you can follow me the way you if you want but uh, it's all up to you it's all your own painting style as well so again just picking out just the tops of the toes here and uh, for, for any beginner painters, it looks like it kind of would be sloppy. You have to, you know, you're not really blending the colors all that much. But when it all dries, you, it, it kind of blends itself. 
so here he's got this kind of ankle bone, uh, the joint knee and his leg muscle. So for that, the joint and the ankle bone, I'm just hitting just, just the tip of it with this color. Uh, I could have gone with just a little bit less of the highlight here, but I chose to go more with uh, bold highlights just to kind of give his legs a little bit of a pop on the table. And it'd be the exact same uh, process for the for his other leg as well. He's got those ankle and joints. So here, we're just gonna take a look quickly at uh, his shoulder muscle. Uh, again, you can see where my, you can see my lamp here, kind of giving me an idea of where to uh, put my highlights on this muscle group here. I'm only putting a little bit of highlight. I don't wanna go too far with this. Um, just give some separation. I chose not to uh, put highlights in that muscle group there as the upper muscle would kind of overshadow it a little bit. So he's coming together. Uh, he's looking really, really nice now. Uh, I'm gonna highlight the lips uh, where he's snarling, the ears around his eyes as well. Um, but yeah, the, the muscles starting to really come together. A lot of separation. You can go in here with just straight administratum gray to give it a little bit more highlights in these areas. But I chose to leave it this way as it's a nice dark enough gray for, for what I'm looking at doing. So now I'm just coming in with that same mixture. I'm just going to dry brush his fur here um, I and uh, his tail. And this, this mixture of the two to one really makes the detail in his tail pop. Um, as you can see, nice detail there. Pops a lot better than that detail there. So, just going to dry brush this side here and get uh, get those details to really, really stand out on the tabletop. And I come here with that mixture too because the gray green didn't really show up underneath his chin here. So I wanted that detail to show as well. So. Uh, just came in with the same color and that's all I'm dry brushing on on that part so here I'm coming in with just straight administratum gray uh, this is going to be my final dry brushing for the fur uh, and I'm only going to hit the top of the head here and it uh, kind of goes over onto the nose a little bit but it kind of helped me out in the long run as it did pick up that detail really nicely and just the back, uh, the high part of the mane here. I don't go too far down. And same with the tail. I'm just going straight into the tip and bringing it up just a little bit. I'm not going too far with this as I want the tip of the tail to be brighter than the rest of the tail. And there we have it guys. There's the overall painted Scores of Skirmisher. If you like this video, stay tuned for the rest of the painting. Subscribe, follow me on Facebook. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day.